Hello and welcome to study with Sudhir, your digital classroom. This is a video lesson that you need to listen to because this is going to take care of the 30 marks as part of the geography examination for the ICC class 10 board exam in which we are going to talk specifically about the 20 marks for topography sheets and 10 marks for the map marking. This is actually not very clear because a bit of the reflection of the window is actually falling on it but I will get it closer when I am beginning to explain about the specific pointers as far as the India map is concerned which will be given to you. This is just the peninsula that I have drawn to basically point out a couple of points. Now, what is really the trick to getting those 30 marks clear? Many students actually lose marks in those 30 whereas these 30 marks should actually be in your pocket and one of the reasons is that most students leave the practice of the topo sheet and the map marking to the very end which is why they are not very thorough as far as uh, topo sheets and map marking is concerned. So what you need to do is to practice, practice every day. I pointed this out in the other video also the other day. Just take about 10 minutes out of your schedule any time of the day and just practice some topo sheet and map marking. It will do you a world of good. You will get more and more familiar with how to measure, how to actually identify the different places, rivers, regions, mountains, valleys in the map of India because in the syllabus it's very clearly written that these things will be asked so it should not really be rocket science so all you need to know is the different contours make that as the identification point for so that you are able to pinpoint it exactly in the map of India. Now let's look at the maps first. What? On what basis do the examiners give the marks as far as the maps is concerned? And this is what teachers who go for evaluation and they have been going for several years uh, nominated by the ICSC board have to tell me. So this is coming from people who actually know what it really takes to score marks in geography exam. Okay, so what I am told is that accuracy is key. You would obviously assume map marking Hyderabad has to be marked here. You cannot mark it somewhere uh, else on the map. It has to be very, very accurate. Okay. Uh, one millimeter here and there is ignored. Okay. But not more than that. It cannot be too much away. You know, ikka dukka because they also understand that they are dealing with 15 year old students. So, one millimeter here, left, right, kind of okay. How do you write the name? And this is very, very important. So, listen to this very, very carefully. I will get this particular board a little close uh, to the screen so that you can understand uh, without any reflection falling on it. Okay, I hope you are able to see it. Now you see the Godavari river which has been marked out here. If you are writing the name of the river, okay, if you are writing the name of the river, you should always write the name above the river, not below. These are some of the things which you need to keep in mind and this is what the teachers who go as examiners tell me that the name of the river Godavari or any river for that matter should be written above the line not below the line. Similarly Hyderabad you will put the dot and you will write the name above the dot not below or right or left of the dot. In case there is not sufficient space in case there is not sufficient space in the India map to write Hyderabad or Godavari you have the luxury the other option is to actually draw the arrow and mark it in the Bay of Bengal area or the Arabian Sea area you can write it in that uh, empty space but there you need to keep one thing in mind the arrow should point to the place or to the river or say if you have to shade a region to the region the arrow should not point to the name you understood what I am saying I will repeat it the arrow direction should point to the place not to the name it should point to the location not to the name so just keep these two points in mind when you are actually uh, doing the maps okay let me just align this back okay now that we are done with the maps uh, if it is a city as i said if it is a city the dot is obviously very important where it is put if it is a state or a region that you have been asked, you need to shade it. You need to shade it and while you are shading it, be very careful about how you are shading it. Don't make a mess of it. Carry color pencils and you shade it very, very neatly. Okay, take time and ensure, I mean, you do it and then you use the eraser, the whole thing becomes black because you may or may not get an extra map to do so. So, be very, very 
careful about how you handle it because most examination paper halls may if there are 30 students appearing in that particular center or hall they may send only 30 they may not send 35 as extras so i'm not sure about how it works in different centers so just be a little careful about how you handle the map as well as the topo sheet i spoke about color pencils now what happens is that color pencils is obviously preferable okay they are ideal because they highlight what you want to show in a much better manner but sometimes and the council is very uh, kind of aware of this uh, that students under stress uh, examination stress they may forget to carry the color pencil this is what uh, miss sangeeta who what, is one of the examiners who goes for the correction of geography papers told me that they are very student friendly so they do understand and appreciate the fact that students are under pressure they are under stress so they may actually forget to carry the color pencils and obviously this is not a time when anyone is going to lend you uh, his or her color pencil so they may have to do it with a normal uh, shade pencil so instructions are given to the examiners to be lenient in such cases uh, be more student friendly it does not matter even if you have not colored it but if you have it please use them it will only make it look better for your own map sheet okay so that is i hope this is very very clear as to what is the icsc board's position as far as color pencils are concerned okay now let's come to topo sheet now in topo sheet <clears throat> when you're writing the units matter a lot you need to write use the units you cannot just write the figure and come away you need to write include the units in every answer for you to get the marks otherwise the marks will not be awarded point number two in topo sheet the significance of the color the significance of the symbols the occupation extra are very very important you need to know how to calculate the area for that you need to ensure that you have a good quality transparent scale preferably a new scale not in which you know all the lines are kind of going and missing and are not very clear so invest in a brand new scale before the examination and ensure that you practice as much as possible of topo sheets during the study leave period and know how to calculate the area etc so that is very important so these are things you should know all the symbols what do the different colors denote what is what, what are the different occupations etc because in topo sheet also invariably there will be a couple of questions which will actually test your knowledge and understanding of how this entire topography sheets are actually done so you need to be careful you need to practice this as much as possible try to remember those sheets um, uh, this thing because you do get topo sheet practice books so invest in them buy them practice them as much as possible in order to ensure that those 20 marks 20 marks is a whole lot of marks you cannot afford to go wrong even if you get 15 out of 20 you're straight away starting with a minus of five don't do that topo sheets and maps are actually easy to score the only trick to acing topo sheets and maps is to practice them as much as possible so practice them as much as possible during this period jinko hindi samajh mein aati hai zyada main unke liye thoda jaldi se bata do ki jahan tak maps ka sawal hai maine jo mukhya roop se ye bataya hai ki jab aap ek nadi ko denote karte hain ya koi pradesh ko ya koi shehar ko denote karte hain to jo naam likhte hain wo us dot ke ya us nadi ke line ke upar likhein niche na likhein ये एक पॉइंट बोर्ड काफी पर्टिकुलर है दूसरी बात अगर इंडिया के मैप के अंदर हो सकता है जगह इतनी ना हो कि आप लिख सकें और अगर लिखेंगे तो पूरा थोड़ा घिचपिच हो जाएगा थोड़ा गंदा हो जाएगा उसमें जगह नहीं रहेगी तो आप एरो मार्क करके आप बाहर के पोर्शन में जो बे ऑफ बंगाल और अरेबियन सी में जो बाहर का जो स्पेस रहता है वहां पर लिख सकते हैं लेकिन वहां पर भी आपको ध्यान रखना पड़ेगा कि जो एरो मार्क है सिर्फ एक लाइन ड्रॉ करने से नहीं होगा एरो मार्क करना पड़ेगा और जो एरो यानी कि जो तीर का जो वो पोर्शन है वे जगह की तरफ लोकेशन की तरफ पॉइंट होना चाहिए नाम की तरफ पॉइंट होना नहीं चाहिए हमारा नेचुरल टेंडेंसी रहता है नाम की तरफ पॉइंट करने के लिए उससे आप बचें उसके बारे में आप जरूर ध्यान रखिए कि वे नाम की लोकेशन की तरफ पॉइंट होना चाहिए नाम की तरफ पॉइंट होना नहीं चाहिए और जहां तक टोपोशीट का सवाल है उस पर आप जरूर ध्यान रखिए कि यूनिट्स 
हमेशा मेंशन कीजिए सिर्फ डिजिट्स मेंशन करके आएंगे तो आपको अंक नहीं मिलेंगे और दूसरी बात जितना भी ऑक्यूपेशन है जिस तरह की जिंदगी गुजारते हैं या कैलकुलेशन कैसे करना है रंगों का क्या सिग्निफिकेंस है सिंबल्स का क्या सिग्निफिकेंस है उसके बारे में आपको पूरी जानकारी होनी चाहिए सो मैप्स और टोपोशीट को हर रोज दस मिनट के लिए पंद्रह मिनट के लिए अभ्यास करने की कोशिश जरूर कीजिए आपकी ये तीस मार्क जोग्राफी का जो अस्सी मार्क का जो प्रश्न पत्र आता है उसमें से 30 मार्क के जो टोपो शीट और मैप्स आते हैं उसमें स्कोर करना आसान है प्रोवाइडेड आप उसके बारे में अभ्यास पूरी तरह से करें ओके तो मुझे उम्मीद है ये आपको पूरी तरह से समझ में आ गया होगा इस वीडियो लेसन से आपको काफ़ी लाभ होगा तो मेरी आपसे गुजारिश है कि आप इसको ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा शेयर कीजिए ताकि आपके काफ़ी सारे जो दोस्त हैं आपके स्कूल में आपकी कक्षा में आपके शहर में उनको भी इससे काफ़ी लाभ हो ताकि जोग्राफी में ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा विद्यार्थी इसमें ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा अंक पा सकें एग्जाम में थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर वाचिंग